playing a fish. Homer started making paintings, watercolors, and prints of fishing subjects in the 1870s, and fishing remained a central pastime and theme for the rest of his life. The setting for this intimate little painting was the Adirondacks, a region of great natural beauty that Homer visited frequently. Several images in the Clark's collection are of Adirondack subjects. Playing a Fish was originally painted in 1875. It was based on a watercolor Homer produced the previous year in which his friend, fellow artist and fellow fisherman, Eliphalet Terry, accompanied by a dog, was shown fishing from a rowboat. Homer reworked parts of the oil painting almost 20 years later, moving the signature a little and softening the bright blue of the sky and its reflection in the water into a more crepuscular time of day. At this point, he also turned the rowboat into a canoe, its dark horizontal shape matching the line of the hills in the background. Homer reworked paintings significantly if he felt they would be improved by doing so, but we don't know either precisely when or why he made such major changes to this work, which is not one he showed to the public. It's tempting to think his own aging, and perhaps Terry's death in 1896, may have induced this more elegiac mode. <laughs>